After Essen Senna left the McLaren team at the end of 1993, they didn't win again until 1997 season in this, the McLaren MP4-12. Now, Giorgio, it's quite a successful car. Mick Hagen and David Coulthard in the driving seat. And it had a few interesting innovations, don't you think? Yes, this car was the last car with the roots with the wider car and the slick tyre, as we can see. And it was a car very well done on the aerodynamic. We see very, very well shaped and this channel that goes to improve the airflow to the back of the car. And it was also the car that could have a, those flip up in front of the rear tire. Again, a rule change the season after they bent this solution. And it also had a trick braking system at the rear, didn't it? The driver was able to sort of lock off one wheel or the other depending on what corner he was taking. Yes, this again, uh, McLaren tried, they exploited, that was using well, but then the Federation banned because it was a, a way to interfere with the setup of the car, with the ending of the car, because of course, braking one wheel more than the other, you could create oversteer or understeer, so to control and Ferrari and the Federation decide to stop it. And then after this MP4-12, McLaren moved on. They'd signed Adrian Newey, who came along and penned this, the MP4-13, the car that will win McLaren's first Constructors' Championship in quite a number of years. So, Giorgio, first car with groove tyres, uh, less wide than its predecessor. It was a very, very neat car, wasn't it? Yes, it's a very neat car, and we see immediately the hand of Adrian Newey, because he's always using the rules at the limit. We see, for example, this little fin is to cope with the dimension of the chassis, but the chassis was a little bit smaller, slimmer, so better aerodynamic, but especially he found this solution to make the deformable structure beside the driver, beside the driver head lower. You see, these were considered to respect the rules, but the deformable structure were much lower, and we see all the engine cover is smoother and goes down more, so a big influence from the aerodynamic point of view of Arte and Newey, and you, we can see immediately on this car. And so the narrower car, Giorgio, as well, uh, the wheels had quite an effect on the rest of the car downstream, didn't it? Yes, yeah, so we can see very well, for example, this barge board, a huge, much bigger than before, just to avoid the, the drag from the front tire, go to interfere with the sideboard shaper, with the cooling, and so this became a, a distinctive part of the McLaren made by Arte and Newey. And of course, Newey moved the side pods further forward as well, just to cope with that a little bit more. But yeah, it was such a successful car, really kick-started McLaren's much better performance into the late 90s and the early 2000s.